Hey, what's going on everyone? This is your truly back with another video and today we're gonna be playing some Winter Offlane. We're gonna be trying out the new Titan Quest changes. For those who do not know, essentially all three of them, like the Final Evolutions, got some reworks essentially. So they do similar stuff, but it's gonna be a lot different how they function. Like Wizard Back, they're still gonna do Wizard Back things. It's just gonna be like not as extremely effective, but the duration is long and game out magical armor, for example. So you can kind of see right here. I'm just gonna kind of hover over this a little bit. The biggest change though is Sapphire's Mantle. That's the one with the biggest rework because now it's a um, stacking HP item. And what better character to try on? And that is Richter, who is a very HP kind of scaling character because of his passive, of his E. He gets some HP scaling in this kit, so he definitely loves all that HP. So we're gonna be trying that out on him and see how it goes. So this is gonna be sort of an interesting game too because. We have a Mogish on the jungle. We have a jungle mid lane to try to salvage this kind of real team comp we're having. So I'm not too sure how long or how good this game is going to be. But at least in the off lane, um, the other side of the map can be burning in flames. But I can just kind of be chilling on my own side of the map. It's a good thing. So we'll see how this goes. Maybe we can make this work. So we'll just have to wait and see. But... Set 5 Mental, um, I think that item is going to be really strong on Set because he's someone that scales the best with HP and, just, and all that good stuff. But we're just someone that's also really kind of good with it. And I'm feeling more in the Witcher mood than a Set mood mood right now. So that's why we kind of be playing him offlane. When it gets a crunch, so this is sort of an interesting matchup. I think uh, it sort of like depends on on who kind of plays this um, name matchup well. well. He used his Q, so I just kind of opted to go for a trade right there because they have no way to recalibrate on me. Dodge that. Again with the auto. The next thing is we have our shield to work with. Um, that's how we're going to be able to take really good trades as long as we play around with the um, shield we have. Because that's free damage we're kind of soaking up essentially. I uh, did that a little bit too slow. I'm gonna get a little aggressive. And drop him right there and back off. So we're already kind of shrunking him pretty good. My wave is pushing so I'd be a little bit mindful of a fame mount gain. That's like the hardest thing with Richter offlane. He's very immobile so it's kind of easy for people to kind of gank him and stick on top of him. So that's one thing we have to keep in mind. Is we want to try to pressure this um, crunch as much as we can. But we got to be mindful of the ganks that can really kind of screw us over. Right now, my wave is gonna crash, so I'm opting to just kind of shove this in. Just kind of look. I, I'm gonna make sure he doesn't stop it. Yep, he's not stopping this, and that means I have full fire to go into your buff now. Thanks, we got it. So we can't use a bit of mana on that, but we secure the tube up, which is the most important thing. We're gonna go for a Q max because we want to take short trades, not the longest trades with quench. So getting Q max is gonna be the most beneficial for us. We got the wave push towards us, so that's very good. Maybe Mogus can get a gank in as a jungler this game. Also, I can kind of just kind of farm pretty good right here. Hey Mal is over here. We got the kill though. I think we can walk out maybe. We're pretty beefy enough. Yep. He's not gonna be able to really kill us, so we just kinda walk out. Let's go. Unfortunately we probably won't be able to get a good wave reset. He's gonna shove it in. 
and we gotta take it back now or, or else crunch come back and it's gonna be even harder to get reset so we take it back right here we're gonna pick up brimstone so brimstone i like to pick it up because it's probably the strongest t2 item you can get on the tank but you have to have a lot more early game damage threat and better way pushing power so we get this and now we're gonna just we can pretty much instead of finish our fire blossom we're gonna finish chain of god first to kind of counter crunch that's like the best item to do so on him oh i'm probably i'm not gonna get that Nice. The Fairmount was just in the area, but I think he's no longer, unless he's doing his blue cycle now. Try a little poke right there. And because of Brimstone, we can take this long trade, by the way. That's how we're able to win that really hard. Because Brimstone, like I said, is a huge power spike. The best one for doing damage on tank early on. So I just knew that we just win that trade really hard. Um, if we can land that hook. And we did land that hook indeed. So I'll take a nice reset right here. Send a thousand gold. Kind of reset my HP bar and all that good stuff. Get home play online, so once points hit 6 and start to kind of regen with this um, passive, we'll be able to already kind of start reducing that down a bit. So I didn't mention it, but the big thing about this um, new patch is that they kind of tackle quests across the board. So essentially across the board, there's less sustain health-wise. So it makes, it, it kind of impacts the offlane world the most because that lane is all about sustain and about like trading health bars and that stuff. And now they just hit that pretty hard. It's a big thing. Uh, I'm not going to be able to steal it, unfortunately. But essentially what this means is you're going to be able to really kind of poke people out of lane much easier in the long run. Okay. Stay in front of him so he can all out. Oh, he did. We were able to sneak around me right there, unfortunately. But we're really putting the hood on him. So now I'm gonna just keep shoving this in, make sure he never gets a good bag. And we have the hook, so we can always be really good threat against him on the tower. Get one right there. Oh, I missed that minion. I'm not gonna be look looking for hooks just because it's gonna be kind of hard. Oh, okay. We're gonna just kill the crunch because we definitely can at least go one for one. Won't be able to kill the K fame out because we game on um, 2v1, but we at least trade and kind of go for kills like that. So we're definitely putting this crunch really far behind. Double CS, three kills up on him. So we're doing some really solid stuff already, ladies and gents. And since it's a Fae Mal jungle, this tank god we're building to counter the crunch is going to be really good to Fae Mal. We can double up by going like stone wall if we want to lay them down the road. So we don't have to worry about any damage whatsoever from like the Fae Mal and the crunch. But I think I want to maybe build into this sooner than later so I can have a lot more damage to it. So we definitely finish chaining god. I think we're going to maybe build to this because I'm so far ahead that now I just want keep building more damage so I can kind of just keep one shotting this crunch or just being able to really just hard win against him. Cause I don't need to shove this, I just, I can freeze it and just really, um, make this crunch fall even more behind CS cause he's just too scared to walk up. As he should be, cause I can just all in on him 100%. Oh, one thing about Brimstone is he's trying to hold the free- oh, he's actually... Can I do some poke right there? 
I can still walk up to you, by the way, my friend. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! He thought I dropped down behind him, but I did not. I was just kind of hovering above, so... He tried to do a quick outplay. So I do respect that, but uh, he totally missed with that situation one because I was definitely still up there. Nice, nice. Actually, I can maybe shove that out this wave to do some damage to the turn. Well, we can actually take the tower. Let's go. We definitely have a big enough mini wave to do it. So that's huge. Alright, so there's a big wave that Crunch has to deal with. I can go for the two buff really quick and look for a very nice reset right here, ladies and gents. So, not quite got the quest unlocked just yet, but we're getting there. We're slowly getting there, surely. Um, slowly but surely. There's actually a lot of fighting going on fainters. I think they're all good now. But I can still come over and we can um, help because they're kind of low on HP and whatnot. So we can kind of come over still. Oh, almost got the Mogesh. Oh, almost able to get her. But we definitely can. Oh, that tower diving. Oh no, one auto, Drongo. Oh my, this Jongo is definitely a gamer, ladies and gents. Nice, we helped them secure the fainters. Now we're gonna go take it back because we kind of used half our HP in Man and Bar and go back to White Lane and just keep farming and wave. I done my offline duty and helped the objective. Now I go back to White Lane, send that link, keep farming, and keep bowling this crunch right here. Yeah, look at this forward crunch. I definitely was really just like sewing him off the wave, and every time he walks up, he just dies. And now I got Tainted Guard, which is the best item against the crunch to counter him, so now he really can't do anything at all. And now that I got the, all the extra armor, I won't be as friendly against, against this like Fame Mal. Maybe we can rotate mid, maybe start to help the Drongo a little bit. But at the same time, I have so much pressure on right side that I can keep pushing, I can probably 1v2. Maybe not the mid lane since I don't have any armor against them, but against the Fame Mal punch, 100%. I do see a juicy blue buff I want to maybe get. Oh, that's a mortgage support. I thought the mortgage made it away from the mid. So I wasn't really paying attention at all to that. Nice juicy blue buff for you, surely. Now I'm just go back to white. Hmm, I'm not sure where the crunch is at. I thought he's rotating, but he's not. Oh, he was rotating, but he backed off as soon as he realized he's not gonna catch the Drongo. Alright, so two buffs up. We might as well take it since this crunch. Um, we're just gonna keep dropping the wave and probably try to see if we can keep stealing camps on the right side. So we kind of keep farming up really hard, but also we're just putting the fame out behind because, yeah, he. Saw his blue buff was taken. There's no blue buff for a sad fame mount because it's on me.
Oh, there's four people on the right lane. Wow. A lot of people over here. I really want to look at the Fae Mao or the... Revenant. Hmm. Not what's going for Blink Hook. I'm just gonna... Maybe drop down? It's... And we got the kill right there. Let's go. Yep, uh, he was backing around the corner, which I could get him, but he did the smart thing and canceled his back. But that just means I'm gonna just push for the um, tower right here. Oh, this smart thing by the pool. Uh, I'm getting body block. Oh my god, that, wait, he's fast. But that's because he's getting the movement speed. Come back. There we go. And we got no kill right there. Let's go, ladies and gents. We do be cooking in the spicy team with the jungle mid and Mocha's jungle. I'm actually gonna back because I could, I should keep pushing, but at the same time, I kind of want to get my senpai's mantle, try that item out before um, this game maybe turns out to be an FF, right? So I'm gonna be trying to start stacking this, trying to show this off. We're actually gonna be straight into world breaker. Now we're gonna finish our fire blossom right here in a sec. So for those, the new Senpai Mentor, essentially it's going to be based on your max HP of what you're building, it's the damage. And the damage you do is shoot damage, right? And so um, after the duration ends, depending on how much damage you do, is how much damage you're going to, like, that's how you get your HP stacked essentially. So right there I park it. Um, and 16 health. So, that does sound a lot. You gotta have to be really blocking this a lot. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a very kind of late game scaling item essentially. Well, you're not gonna get that much impact earlier on, but um, the more you use it consistently. Oh wow, he actually just on B on me. Huh? I do hurt a lot. So I'm not sure why they're engaging on top of me. Hmm. Actually, we can keep pushing then. Oh, you, you have ultimate for the quench. Ah, uh, so close. I'm actually gonna take a reset right here because I'm getting ooh. We can actually go fainters first. My rest of my team is healthy enough to do this objective for us. Nice, nice. Yeah, we can definitely do this, and then we can look to reset, get Fire Blossom. I think we're gonna go straight for the full HP build, so we're gonna go Wayman next. So we're not bringing a ton of armor as we normally would for a Witcher offlane, but actually maybe don't necessarily have to build armor on Witcher, because Witcher, like I said, scales on HP the best. So instead of like focusing purely on just armor, we can go for huge HP statistics. So um, Wayman is definitely one of those best HP statistics we can get. So let's... Start building into that. So let's see. <clears throat> okay, so we can't use it on camps to get the stacks. We have to purposely like actually attack enemies with this to be able to actually stack the Senpai's mental. So 
So this kind of weird, what interesting thing about this item is that if you just do only on one item, on one heal, it's not going to stack that much. But if you're a tank, you're supposed to be in the middle of five people, right? And in the middle of five people, you park this, you're going to get a lot more stacks on this item. I almost, I didn't realize that Faze was doing that much damage, but I definitely got um, killed by her. She got the bounty, so a bounty going to the enemy support is probably the most ideal because the force I'm not going to be able to take as good advantage of the extra gold, essentially. So yeah, again, so we use it again. We got almost the same amount of HP, so about that was 17 that time. So yeah, this is the item that you literally have to be in the middle of a bunch of people to take good value out of. It's gonna be really great in the long run, but like in off lane kind of thing when most of the time you're facing against one opponent, it's gonna be kind of hard to stack this. Because the only time I'll be stacking this item is is essentially if I rotate the team fights where we kind of all group up five people and whatnot. So I mean five people times 16, that's about um, 75, 80 ish health on proc. But that's if I hit all five enemies, right? So. This item may be kind of hard to take really good advantage of in terms of bonus HP. So you may want to use this more so for the proc where you do bonus damage. Which is really good on a pure tank build where you can do some um, true damage to enemy targets and whatnot. Oh. Uh, Fire Blossom, please. Nice. Got the cook right there. So 68, okay. So, I think the one thing people will worry about with this item is essentially it's going to be that stupid item where you can get like 2000 HP, right? And looking at the procs on it, not really going to get like 2000 or anything it's really kind of crazy. Oh, I missed my hook right there. Oh, I guess I'll just run away. Ah, uh, well, let's go for one for one right there. But as, as I was saying, I think the one thing people worry about this item, I see people be like, oh my god, this item is going to be absolutely broken. Stacking HP, what a meta series thinking, right? And I'm like, stacking this item, I got some decent frogs, but I haven't even hit 100 HP bonus, right? So this item is nowhere near going to be that broken or super little overpowered. It's going to be just a nice addition, like the HP stacking component is going to be a nice addition to kind of get a little bit more HP on the tanky build. And like I said, I think you're going to be mostly using this for the active, where you do shoot damage to nearby enemy heroes, essentially, and getting that um, increased maximum health to kind of thing, so... I, so at least um, in my testing right now, I don't, I don't f foresee this item being like stupidly like broken. I think it's still gonna be really good on someone like Sedwalk. Winter definitely can be good. I'm, I kind of like the other options like Razorback or Need World Boost. Like especially Need World Boost so I can kind of stick to people a lot more. Is is So there's, there's a lot of good options that what I'm trying to say. There's no one item, new tank item. It's not like overly like outperforming the other like sisters, right? Oh, I did that too early? I do have my hook in a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna get slowed though, so I'm not gonna catch up. Yeah, definitely that's the third normal thing too, so we can go take that, and then we can look to re-engage on the enemy team. Actually, they're gonna be take it without me. I might be trying to look to see if anyone's gonna actually check. I know one's checking. Yeah. I missed that. 
So right now we're just making a push for the mid lane. Because we have prime buff. I have a huge threat with my hook. Oh, a little bit too far away for me to hook that. So I'm gonna actually maybe just play for my face hook. Or face root. Because there's a guarantee um, hook right there. So as long as I have that hook threat, they're gonna be a little scared, right? As soon as I throw it and miss, they're gonna look to get aggressive, right? So I'm gonna just play around the face E. Oh no, that was too far away. That's my bad. And I do love the new phase change, by the way. Like, being able to do that in the air is so much fun, by the way. That's definitely a video I'm putting out to you guys later. I just want to make sure I get my um, offlane as a offlane main kind of duty. Oh, I missed my hook right there. Now we're going to turn back in the fame now. Get the kill on Mogus, let's go. And it looks like we can just end right here, so it'll be GG, ladies and gents. Nice. So... This is kind of a cool game. Not only we kind of really dominate the offlane, but also we just have a very interesting team comp. It's Mogus Jungle Fireball. I don't think it's going to be competitively viable, but does it work? It it does work from what we saw from how this Mokish was performing. I mean, she was able to kind of, let's see, I'm actually curious about her creep score. 152 at 26. Mm, so not really actually that great CS wise for a jungler, but I mean, she got a lot of um, kill participation, so she was doing something right because Morgish is a very deadly like ganker if all things. Like her ganks from mid lane are very very deadly because you're guaranteed to pretty much land your abilities because they're so easy to land. And your ultimate pretty much like if you if they blink away, if they get tethered away, you can just finish them off the ultimate. It just makes her very deadly and be able to secure kills, right? So when you put in the jungle wall, you kind of make her... Pretty much you play her to gank the lanes, and if you get the kills, you can snowball. If you don't get the kill, that's when I think you're going to struggle so, so much. But somehow we may able to make this all work. So this end up being a kind of a banner game and whatnot. But again, this is kind of a good test to show that um, Seth Eyes Mental is no way in heck going to be overpowered. Like, I was, I'm traveling through you. I'm doing super good. And so ideally, that means I'll be stacking a whole lot. But I'm actually not stacking that much. I think I didn't got... I think I only just got 100 bonus HP at the very end, at the 26, 26, 26 minutes mark and whatnot, but... Um, so definitely, I'm going to be trying out the other items too, like new world boost. Sounds very interesting with the constant health region while you're in combat. So I definitely want to try that on someone like a bruiser like Grux in the future too. So definitely be on the lookout for that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comments for other heroes, for other builds, for me showcase. Thank you as always for all the amazing support. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.